what we're delivering here is a world-class test facility for the highest level of testing. Winning is the driving force of our passion for motorsports. One more horsepower determines who's going to win the next race. All of the behind the scenes activity build up to this one moment, and it's when you turn the engine on and does it work. Silverstone. Since 1950, this legendary racetrack has served as the epicenter for Formula One racing development in Britain's motorsports valley and around the world. Eight out of 11 F1 teams build their sleek race cars within this region. Nearby in Milton Keynes, Honda technical partner Mugen is focused on radically pushing the limits of high performance racing engines. Enabled by Sierra's test facility development skills, Mugen's new test cells are capable of precision tuning a wide variety of Honda racing engines, from world touring car to Le Mans to Formula One. The Mugen company itself was founded by son of Mr. Honda, Hirotoshi Honda, in 1973. The word Mugen means in Japanese, it is unlimited. So if you see the badge like this, Mugen Power, it means unlimited power. Oh God! Michael Schumacher hits David Coulthard and is out! all be coming true for the Silverstone team. If you haven't got your heart in your mouth, you jolly well should have. He is yards away from the finish, followed by his teammate, Ralph Schumacher. Mugen Honda engine first, Mugen Honda engine second, and Damon Hill wins in Belgium. In 2012, Mugen moved to Milton Keynes, where they could build a state-of-the-art engine testing facility. Based on their depth of experience, Sierra was hired to design, build and outfit Mugen's test cells, and Martin Hurd, managing director of Sierra's automotive test division, was brought in to shepherd the project. The thing that they liked about us was what they called their can-do attitude. The fact that we were able to look at a challenge and say, yeah, we. We, we haven't done it that way before, but if we did it this way, we, we gave them options to consider. And I think that dialogue was very welcome. So we're starting to look at building a long-term relationship with our clients to understand where they want to get to, what their roadmap is. It's that deep understanding of customer needs that creates the DNA for the facility that we're going to design and engineer as a team. CAD drawings were developed by Sierra to pre-visualize the test cells. The simple portal frame of the Mugen facility wasn't initially intended for test cell operations, so significant construction modifications were required. The biggest challenge was the schedule for the project. We actually broke ground on June the 10th and we actually delivered a working test cell at the end of October, so that is a very aggressive time schedule. It's quiet enough for the dyno operators, yeah. I think that's good. good construction. When you undertake a project of this type, particularly when you're dealing with Formula One engines, you've got to consider the particular challenges that they bring. They tend to be very noisy engines, and we're talking around 138 dB of noise, where typically the majority of petrol cars will be around 110 to 112. We used blockwork regimes, double skinned, which gave us a high level of acoustic barrier. As we are living in motorsports world, the quality is the everything, first of all. Then secondly, flexibility. No two facilities are the same size. Test cells are different size, facilities are different size. So it's not just about the test cell itself, it's about how you house all the infrastructure that's required to support the testing of such applications as we're talking about today. We've gone from sort of a, a steady state type application to a test facility now that can do track simulation, it can recreate the conditions of track circuits of around the world, not just in terms of circuit but also in terms of ambient conditions because we've employed a kahu that gives us pressure, temperature and humidity control to very close tolerance. While Sierra's combustion air handling unit was positioned outside of the test cell, Sierra precision fuel metering hardware was mounted on the inside wall of the new test cell. The important part of the testing process is removing the variability. 
and a key element of that is conditioning the fuel that the engine sees. You've got the exhaust tube but then you've just got a shroud on the outside. So we've created a range of fuel conditioning and fuel metering products that actually eliminate that and provide the client with very precise condition of temperature for the uh, fuel. Now the main focus is a direct injection system which is spraying the fuel into the cylinder direct maximize the efficiency and grab out the energy from the fuel. That is uh, what we are challenging. But long before one of Mugen's high-performance engines is ready for the test cell, it must clear hundreds of hurdles in development, beginning with computer modeling of the engine parts at the design stage, followed by precision prototype machining. It has 200 or 300 different components put together in one piece. The important thing is the clearance of the each component working in light way, in right temperature. So every single engine we built is carefully managing the clearance in one micron level, which is one thou of one millimeter. Test cell completed. Sierra Transient Dyno and remaining testing hardware installed, Mugen's precision-built engine is delivered to the testbed, where critical engine data will be gathered through Sierra's innovative plug-and-play H-frame surrounding the back of the engine. With motorsports, it's such a competitive field. Every team out there has a great engine. Every team out there is looking for that little extra bit of horsepower. Every team out there is looking to do a simulation in their test cell that's better than the others. What we focus on is precision measurement control of that test facility so that when that engine gets out to the racetrack, it wins. Sierra's Cadet V14 test automation software controls all systems in and out of the test cell and provides crucial feedback. The benefit from equipment like that is the accuracy of the data we get which simulate exactly the, how the engine behave on the car. Let's go down to 2000 RPM, then we start the monitor run now. And of course, the biggest part of all is when you stand with the customer, watching their engine simulate one of the great racetracks around the world as if you were there, and you just can't help but smile. First of all, you've got to have a personal bonding, then you succeed your project. Without Sierra, I don't think we could achieve anything like you've seen on our test cell. Listening, above all, to what customers are asking you to do, and then working with them to develop something that's, that's beautiful, um, is at the heart of great innovation.